Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study this figure and we want to reproduce it. Right? So, the first thing you do when you see a figure like this is look for the total length. Because from the total length, you are going to get these two centers. Are we good? So, let's try. From here to here, we are given that it's 130. So, first of all, use your T square. Place it at the edge of your drawing board and draw your what? Your horizontal line. Right? So I have my horizontal line to be this way. Is that taken? Now you see the total length is 130. So if I use my meter rule and I measure 130, right? So from this point. So this point here, from here, this is 0, straight down to 13, which is 130, since it is calibrated in what? In millimeter and centimeter. So, from here to here, which is 130. Now, if you look at now, the height is 50. So I'm going to use my instrument here. Probably if you have your set square and your t square, you can get the height of 40 and 50, right? So I'm starting from 8. Is that thinking? If I'm starting from 8, I will have something like this. To 8 from here. From 8 to be 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. So 50 is stopping at where? At 3 here. Try 50. Now the next thing I will do is that if you look at this point here, there's a line at this point that from that line you can get the center of that circle. So if I draw an horizontal line, faint line first of all, if I draw an horizontal line, so if you look at that, I'll draw a line this way. Right? So that's my horizontal line there. So what do you notice? It means that the radius of this, because if you look at this now, this is like a circle. You can see that? That is what? A circle. If I show you, this is what? It's a circle. So the radius of this circle is 38. Is that again? So that means at every interval, every distance is 38. Every radius from here to here is 38. From here to here 38, and so on and so forth. So that means from here to here 38. So I'll take my compass and measure 38 from that distance. Right? So take my compass and place it on my meter rule. I'll measure 38. So if I place it this way, from here to there is 30, then this is what 38. That they can. That is where 38. So I'm coming here. I'll place it at this point. I will mark here. Right? And I'll come at this point. I will need to complete my circle. Is that taken? I'll complete my circle this way. So this is the circle that we have now. Let me assume it's a bigger circle. Can you see that? Let me make it broader. So there's a bigger circle. Now, at that point, here, yeah, we've got in another center. So I can just draw my center line just to show that this is the center of a circle. So I'll just draw this. A long one, a short one, a long one, a short one, long one, short long one shots and so on right and um, I'll complete this one too so I have this a long one shot long one shot and so on now you can see I'm putting the shelter out by circle here I will do that from this point down to this point 
is radius 38 is that taken now if you look at this our diagram very well from this point to this point i'm taking it so i'm going to take in this point to this point right can you see that if you look at here and also from here to the end of the line i'm taking it so I'm taking it from this point to the end of the line from here I'll take in it right now if you look at it very well I want to locate the other point here which is this so if you look from here this end of this point here is the end of this point here right so we need the height so if you look at it now you say from here to somewhere around here is 12 then 12 plus 25 that is what 37 right so i'm going to move to the seven from this point so with the help of my meter rule help of my c square and t square so i measure the 38 up this way so let's measure the 30 37 so at this point if i start from zero hmm, I start from zero here this will be 10, 20, 30, 37 will be here. That is where my line is. So the way it is shown here, it is thickened. So I'm going to thicken it on this point here. Stop there. Right? Now, on that same point there, there's a circle at that center. <coughs> there's a center line here. Let me just show you. So there's a center line here also so i'll draw a line in the way i did here i'll draw a line in so draw a line in this way right and i'm going to measure 18. so from it all my meter rule I measure 18 from my meter rule. So from one, from one to this point here is 18, right? So I'll come here. I'll mark on this point 18, and I'll come at this point. I'll make it will make become a circle this way. This is another circle that we have here. You can see that? And another circle there. So, and then that, and then that, I'm going to connect this with this. That means the line I want to join these two circles must be tangent with each other. Just like this line here is a tangent line touching the two circles. So, I will just take my rule and ensure that these two lines are tangent to each other. You can see. Do I, I measure it? So I'm going to take in it. Now you see where it is now. Now I'll take my compass now. Because this edge. Uh -huh. Look at this. That's if it is what? It is a fillet. Right? So I'll just place it at the center here. And I'm going to draw this particular line from here. Right, so let's see that. So you have to did it very well. And we have this. You can see that? And I'm going to come here also. I'm going to do the same thing from here. Cross that. So I'll join it here too. Now, I've got the aspect here, which is this, right? So, I'll draw my center line at this point. I'll draw my center line at this point. So, this is long, short, long, short, long. And here also, 
to have long plus long long so on this point we say it is 18 now let's draw this out on the radius of this circle here is just 18 right so i will know that on this point here yeah, i'm doing my dimensioning on my diagram i have here from here to here Is 130. I'll do that. So measure there. 130. You must not touch a line. A little bit higher than the line. So and um, from this point to this point. Is um, fifty. So on this point, to this point here, this fifty. Now the next one is of first of all move twelve up. To so then move the twelve from here to this point is twelve. Right. So we will just. So a line a bit of steel and this is what I need and here also to my twelve is from this point to this point so from here to here is twenty five and from here to that point is with just what? With just 12. Right? So, I successfully done the dimensioning. I might just, in some of the questions, I just drew a line here because it's like a pulley. A smaller pulley and a bigger pulley. And this is the belt. I just moving them together. Right? So, if you have seen a grinding machine before, the paper grinding machine. You get to understand what I'm trying to say. So it's a pulley. A bigger pulley, smaller pulley with a driving belt. So this is what we have. Right? So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.